Well, that's a hell of a movie to come back to. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is Jeremy here, back from my trip. It was a very nice long trip. I did go and see one movie over there, but it was actually uh, a reshowing of Interstellar at a theater in Dublin. That was really cool. Talk about that maybe later. So the first film I came back to see was The Substance. Now this was a film that a friend of mine had suggested. Uh, he actually ba pretty much told me I had to go and see it. This was a film that I remember seeing the trailer for a while back and the only part I could remember was a certain scene where Demi Moore is kind of scratching up her face while putting on her makeup. That is probably one of the most timid scenes in this entire movie. This movie is whack, but in such a fun way. I feel like this is a David Cronenberg movie that he didn't direct, that he maybe would have wanted to direct, because the body horror in this movie is nuts. The substance follows Demi Moore's character, Elizabeth Sparkle, who is actor well past her prime. She's had great fame when she was younger, and now she's kind of just being pushed out because of her age. The whole idea of age, vanity, and worth is the centrifuge of this entire movie. All right, 50. Well, it stops. Her failing to come to terms with age as a process and this possibility that she could maybe get a chance once again at it at a cost that is irreprehensible of what will actually happen. I will try not to spoil this movie as much as I can. After she's in a minor car accident, she is getting checked over and she's really just kind of breaking. She's having her mental breakdown. And one of the docs says, you know, maybe you might be interested in trying this. And it's called The Substance. And what it is, is something that splits. They talk about how you will be not two, but one. You may be two of you, but there will still be one of you and you need to share. That is as far as I will go. Essentially, there is a second part of this with Sue, played by Margaret Qualley, who does a fantastic job as well. It is this duality between the two of them. This ego and id want for what they don't have and the continual take, take, take without the acknowledgement of the consequences is just so well done. For a movie that's two hours and 20 minutes long, the pacing is excellent. I thought I might have fallen asleep or I was going to fall asleep because I was still dealing with jet lag. I went and saw this movie at about nine. I didn't get home until one. It, it, it was rattling me. Performances specifically by Demi and Margaret are fantastic. Demi does a really good job in this film. It definitely has that quasi pseudo feel to it. But Demi herself is 60. Character in the film is 50, but she's obviously someone who is in, in her age. And there is that kind of association that it's a little bit more than just a character because of Demi's history as an actress, such an iconic star of beauty and whatnot. She still looks fantastic for 60. I, I, I look like I'm 60 now and I'm half her age almost. To see her go through these moments and this amongst the body horror, there's a scene in particular where she's trying to go out for a date, but every time she leaves, she, she keeps comparing herself to Sue, Margaret's character. Gets further every time, but she comes back and she applies more and she tries to hide that feeling that she has inside more and more to the point where she just breaks. That is such a realistic and relatable feeling to have. Whether it is about how you feel with yourself physically, how you feel with how you look, how you feel with where you are in life. That vanity, that self-loathing is such a relatable aspect that it grounds you amongst all of the absurdity. And the absurdity is on full display with how the story is visually told through the camera work, a lot of up close, very uncomfortable wides. Dennis Quaid playing a fantastic version of Vince McMahon if he was a producer. <laughs> Apparently that was actually supposed to be Ray Liotta's role, um, but Ray died before the filming started. So Dennis does a pretty decent job and it might help wash the taste out of people's mouth after watching Reagan if any of you <laughs> went and saw that. But the substance is great horror. It's very funny. Like a lot of the dark humor in it is just phenomenal. The pacing is great. The acting is great. If there's maybe one thing, there is a very obvious sort of transition that starts pretty quick. Some people might find issue with that. For me, I thought that it worked pretty well, that this isn't something that's going to gradually work. No, this starts to go bad immediately because it is a bad idea. And the ending is something that you will not fucking forget. If you are 
uh, a weak stomach, I would not suggest watching it, but if you feel like you can hold it, I would, because this movie is bonkers. The fact that this came from the director of Revenge, holy shit, what a second debut. This movie's getting raving good reviews. It's got an 8 on IMDb, I think, right now, and it's absolutely worth your time to go and see it. You're not a fan of body horror movies and stuff like that, I can maybe see why you might not enjoy it. Even if you are somewhat curious, I would suggest it. It's so fucking good. It's not a perfect movie, but it is still a very good movie, and it's definitely in my top 10 for the year. So in the end, I'm gonna give The Substance a 6 out of 7. A super surprise hit for me, a super surprise movie for me, and a super surprise experience. In the end, guys, that's my review. I tried to be as spoiler free as I could. I wanted to talk more about the themes of the movie itself and I hope that I kind of made some sense. I uh, also wanted to say thank you all for watching the videos uh, that I released while I was gone. Those got some decent traffic and it got some good comments. Anyways guys I hope you enjoyed uh, this review and I hope you enjoyed the reviews from before. It's nice to be back. It's nice to be doing this again and I'll be giving you guys updates soon about what I've got. I've got a Rings of Power season 2 review in the works as well. I've got to sit down and do that. But regardless, I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys are having a good October so far and if you like this review, leave a like and if you're interested more, subscribe and until then, see you guys next time.